Okay, so in this question, we're going to take a look at how we can do question six um, using the Desmos calculator um, in order to verify the plot of our two investment rates here. So what we're plotting here is we're plotting an investment which is going to be held for a length of time up to 17 years, um, where one is in a simple interest um, accumulation and one is in a compound interest, and we're both starting with $10,000 as part of that. So the first thing we should look at here is how do you calculate the future value of, of something um, using either the simple interest or the compound interest formula. Okay, so future value, if we're going to use the simple interest formula, is just equal to the principal that you start with plus the principal um, times the rate times the time, which just represents the accumulated interest um, over a specific um, period. So we'll plug in different values for t and we'll generate our future value here. So we could simplify this by factoring out the principal amount and we're left with a formula that is one plus rt. Okay, so this is our simple interest formula where we'll do our future value. So I'll just do a quick little table here on the side. So we're gonna be taking a record here of time and then we're gonna be calculating what I'm gonna call future value one, which is going to be our simple interest case. So at time zero, we can say that when we don't have anything um, in here, we're just going to be ending up with the principal. So that is going to give us $10,000, okay? And then at time two, we would plug in T for two, and um, the principal will be $11,000. Oops, be 11,000. Let's make this table back here. Okay, and remember our interest rate is held at 5%. Um, at six years, we have 13,000. At 10 years, we have 15,000. And at 14 years, we have 17,000. And at 17 years, we'll have 18,500. So those are the values that you should get when we're just considering simple interest. Okay, so it's going to be, um, a linear plot because we don't have any any exponential values there. Our second case is where we're going to do future value but we're going to be doing it using compound interest. So the formula for that is going to be the principal okay, times 1 plus the interest rate over the compounding period all to the interest the compounding period times the time. So it's a it's an exponential function. Um, and again, in this case here, n is equal to two times per year. That's our compounding period. And the interest rate is held at 0 0.05. And the principal is equal to $10,000 in both cases. Okay, so again, at, uh, we'll just do this as future value two. At time equals zero, okay, when t is equal to zero, um, <clears throat> we are just going to have um, a value where we have our principal, so we're going to start at 10,000. But then at year two, our interest, our future value in total is a slightly bigger number than the other one. So I'm just going to round it to the nearest dollar. Uh, it's 11,038. Then it's 13,448. Um, 16,386. 19,964. And 23,153. $23,153. Okay, so now what we want to do is make sure if we can plot these values, we can verify that what that curve is going to look like. So I'm going to switch over to the Desmos tool. So I'm just going to use the tablet version here. This is very similar and it's exactly the same as you'd see on the website. Um, to start off, instead of plotting a function, we're going to plot a table. So I hit the plus sign and I'm going to select table. Oops. And a table <clears throat> should show up. And all we do is proceed to put in our table of values here. So our first point was zero, and then our first point here for the value is gonna be <clears throat> 10,000. So I'm gonna do the simple interest one first. So then at um, two years, um, we have a $11,000. Oops, 11,000. And then at six years, we have 13. Thousand. Okay, and then at 10 years, we have 15,000. 
at 14 years we have 17,000 and at 17 years we have 18,500. So you can see right off the bat here, I'm just going to hide the table, um, we have a linear plot going up where we have the dots being plotted. So that'll give you an indication whether the curve is um, straight or linear. Now if we want to connect the dots, we can just tap and hold on that icon right next to Y1. Okay, and it should open up a uh, little pop out here where we can select lines. and turn the line feature on and then now our whoops now our line there is all connected and then if we want to plot the second one we do the same thing i'm just going to select a different row i'm going to put table in and i'll put two well, actually let's start with zero again and it's uh, 10,000 is our amount at two we're going to have 11,038 at six we're going to have 13,000 448 at 10 we're going to have 16,386 at 14 we're going to have 19,964 and at 17 we're going to have 23,153 and you can see that the curve or the plot um, starts to diverge a little bit so that's showing that it's an exponential growth and then again we'll just change the curve to show the lines and um, I'll hide the tables and then there's the verification of the two curves plotting the data. Okay, so hopefully that was uh, helpful and it just showed you how to go through using the graphing tool to verify um, any information that uh, you're looking to plot.